subscribe to tech to tricks and click the bell icon to get notified on the latest tech videos hey what's up guys i'm raj back again with another episode hope that you guys are familiar with my older tech tutorials so in this episode let us check out how to install the reset and remix android 7.1 on the redmi note 3 so that being said let's get started so guys getting started first go to the link in the description and simply click on that you will be redirected to this page the form xj developers and right in here scroll down and click on nightly bills so if you are interested in trying out the test bills that include some bugs as well as some testing features uh, you can also try out that so right in here click on the nightly bills and and you'll be redirected to this page so right in here click on the first one that is the kenzo official version so this version is only subjected to the snapdragon version that is the indian version so make sure you have one and once you are done with downloading this you can also go and click on the open g apps you'll be redirected to the open gapps.org so right in here click on am64 android 7.1 and you can select up your own variant but I prefer Pico or Nano. You can also go with some other versions, but that is a bit headache. It takes a long time in flashing. Okay, uh, yeah, click on that uh, download button and both these files will be downloaded in the format of zip. So once you're done with downloading these files, you can simply copy them into your SD card or simply place them into your phone memory. Once you're done with that, you can shift your cam onto your phone. So guys, now that you have placed in the zip files into your SD card or phone storage, whatever place it may be, go to the settings and tap on the about phone and tap on the MIUI version several times until you find the developer options are enabled. Now simply go back and tap on the additional settings. So here are my additional settings and go to the developer options and enable them. Click on the OK and right in here enable the OEM unlocking. Simply enter up your passcode if you have protected up your device. Now enable the USB debugging. So once you're done with enabling up these options, now you're ready to flash your device. Now simply hold down the power key so that you'll find a bunch of options. So right in here select up the power off and tap on power off to power off your device. So once your device is powered off completely, you can find a tactile feedback. Now hold down the power key as well as the volume up key to boot your device into the TWRP. In case you haven't installed the TWRP yet, you can go back and check my previous tutorials on how we did that. So you need not wait for the permissions from the me. You can simply unlock the bootloader and flash the TWRP. So here is a card for that, you can simply check that out. So I'll be also dropping the links in the description for that video. Now that you are into the TWRP, tap on the wipe and swipe to factory reset. Once you are done, click on advanced swipe and select the dial with cache and the cache and the data and swipe to wipe. So once you are done, you can go back and right in there click on install. Now scroll down and select up the zip file that is the resurrection remix and swipe to confirm flash. Now the Resurrection Remix is installed or flashed onto your device. So make sure you have enough patience to complete the process. So don't abort it or don't do any sort of mischief. That can definitely ruin your device. So once you are done, you can find something like this. So tap on reboot system. So there you go, reboot system. So here is my new logo. Yeah, there we go, the Resurrection Remix logo and its boot animation. In case you are stuck in, in the same boot animation or the boot logo, 
you can do three things the first thing is you need to simply clear your dali cache and the cache in the data one more time and the second thing is that you can simply reflash the same room and the third thing is that you can simply go back to your stock room so i'll be also dropping the link for that video that is going back to your stock room yeah just check that out the links will be given in the description box as said So guys now that your device is booted up you don't find any sort of quick setup menus or something else you just find a menu that is asking you whether you want the pixel launcher or the default pixel launcher or the other launcher so let me select up the pixel launcher and just like that and yeah there you go the pixel launcher and right now i have only magic manager pre-installed along with the pre-installed apps i don't even have the play store so, so to get the G apps, we need to simply go to the TWRP and flash the G apps. So before we do that, you need to simply go to the settings and scroll down and tap on the about phone and tap on the build member. So we uh, tap it until we find the other options are enabled. So once you have enabled the other options, you can simply go back and enable the OEM unlocking and the Android USB debugging. So yeah, once you are done, you can go back and, and hold down the car key and tap on the restart. And that should show you some bunch of options. So let's select up the recovery and OK. And this should directly lead you to Please don't require any sort of mess with the volume rockets and the car key. It will directly reboot the device into the theme in PWRP if you have installed that. So once you are so once you're in the PWRP, you can click on that install button. Scroll down and find the G apps the zip file which I have placed in previously and swipe to confirm flash. The flashing time may vary according to the variant you have selected. If you have set up a Pico or Nano, it would take a little less time. And if you have set up Super or some higher package or variant, it would take definitely more time than compared to the Pico version. So make sure you stay with patience until the process is done. And once it's done, you can find the same success note just like the reselection which we have flashed previously. So once it's done, we do that. So once you're done with flashing, you can simply tap on that reboot system. So there you see the new logo, and that will boot you into the reselection remix. So once you are booted into the reselection remix successfully. Just unlock your device and select the launcher. So right in here you can see there is the Play Store and yeah it being the Pico version we yeah, only have the Play Store. So yeah, let's go to the settings and check out other customization. As you can see the reselection remix have a lot bunch of customizations. You can add a lot of themes, icons, uh, and branding logos. You can add up your custom logos and a lot more things. You can also add up the color customization for the notification panel for the buttons. You can also add on screen buttons. You can also add up pop up windows for the mood. So right in here, let us check out the camera too. And yeah, the camera you also going to find. You have the standard camera. You have uh, manual settings, exposure, etc. And a lot more settings. And yeah, this phone is very smooth and very better. So it is running on top of Android 7.1.2. And the reselection and remix, and as you can see, we also have a nice manager being installed. If you tap on that, 
so for my quick usage i did not find any sort of bugs if i find any sort of bugs i will be commenting down in the comment section you can check out that and yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys so that's it for this video guys if you found this video helpful then please drop a like and if you have any queries then you can comment down in the comment section below and if you're new to our channel or haven't subscribed to our channel then please click the red subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and you can click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video you can explore to the tech to tricks channel to watch more and more tech videos like this break away get your sober case stop dwelling on empty words stop stalling in the doorway